Hello there YouTube, welcome back to another tutorial for computer craft. Uh, I'd like to thank for all the views that I had on my first video. Um, today I'm going to show you um, how to work with monitors. Now a monitor can be from one's, one block, oh that's not a monitor, <laughs> can be from one block up to, let's open the door, up to this big which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, so 8 by 8 which is a pretty big monitor, I don't know what you'd do with it but yeah, the, so you've got but the only issue is you can't like knock out monitors because otherwise you end up having like four monitors there. Um, so it has to be square or rectangular. Um, as you can see here, I've created a little um, information guide. So say for instance, my door was miles away or in the other room so I couldn't see it. And I wanted to know if my door was open or closed as I can't see it so at the moment the door is closed uh, open and I'll close the door now and you can see that it says uh, doors closed um, now what I'll do is I'll show you how to code this um, first of all we'll have to go into our actual door command which I'll do now. As you can see, it's uh, got check. Basically, computer six, which is that one there, is constantly checking whether or not this door is open or closed. So, to check this out, terminate the program by pressing Control and T. Uh, edit startup which was the main program we used right now in here as you can see we've got our normal um, door and opening and closing as I showed in the first video if you haven't uh, done the, watched the first video recommend checking that out it, it explains all this code here now here we have the door check uh, code now using the two minus signs and doing check is like a little quote so you know what it is um, so let's explain this code a little bit now as as you knew at the top it's constantly receiving a message um, with the ID and the message equaling the red net receive so it's constantly receiving a message now in our check we don't really mind what computer we're using so we don't have to put the ID in uh, so it means we could have like four computers telling us what this door is doing so what we have is if message is equal to which the two equal signs check then if redstone dot get output uh, to the right is equal to true then it will print got check which we see in it shows that it's got the check uh, and then it will send uh, to computer 6 which I specified over there um, open door so it tells the door is open if redstone get output is equal to true now obviously the same here goes for uh, checking to make sure the door is closed so if the red net get output right is equal to false as in not true then obviously it prints the got check but then it also sends door closed to computer 6 so computer 6 is getting all the information that we 
require saying door open or door closed. Now, obviously there's three ifs here, so you've got to make sure that there's three ends, otherwise you'll error out, right? and the bottom end is that while end that we had before. Uh, so we'll save that. Uh, before I save this, um, if you're working with pistons, it's the opposite. So, for instance, if the redstone is false, it means the door's closed. So it's the opposite way round. Uh, because when you power a redstone to a piston, it pushes it shut. The, the door that you're using so it would be the opposite way round I don't know if that would help you but I just thought I'd say uh, it took me a while to work that out so I'll reboot this computer here there we go as you can see it's not flashing which means that it's constantly running a program um, and I can't interact with it as you can see door 6, uh, computer 6 it's just detected that the door is closed. Now let's go into the code of here. Um, now on here I've made two files which is startup and mon for monitor. Now so what we do is we go edit start up. Now in edit start up we're telling uh, the computer basically here to run the program mon so uh, shell.run is telling the terminal uh, to run mon on the right monitor so it's like backwards so basically um, the terminal to run on the monitor which is on the right program mon so you could have whatever program you want it to run on the monitor now that's the startup file now on the mon file we've got obviously here we've got the rednet.open at the top which I explained in the first video uh, also explained the x equals zero um, while x equal, does not equal to 9 do this obviously I've got a quote here which is gate 1 I actually copied this off um, something I was, I've been making on my own map so we'll put door 1 so we have here um, red net send to computer number 3 check as you can remember that computer number three is waiting for us to send it check now then this computer will wait for computer three to tell us what's happening so it'll wait for a message so id message equals rednet dot receive and it will try that for ten, 10 ticks before it quits now as you can see um, if ID equals 3 and message equals door open which meant that it is saying that the door is open uh, then print door uh, uh, hyphen well double dot I call it <laughs> uh, open then end so basically it's printing uh, door open on the monitor to our right and the same with door closed door closed will be printed on the right now obviously if we didn't if we just ran that script there it would constantly loop on the monitor door open which we don't want that or door closed which it would just fill up the monitor so we wouldn't be able to put any more uh, doors or pistons or uh, railway tracks to tell you what's happening or whatever um, now as you can see here um, what we're going to do now is tell 
the uh, process to sleep this this process to sleep for one second one tick then it will clear so it'll it won't do nothing for one one second then it'll clear the monitor and then reset the position to the very first uh, pixel in the top right hand corner no nope, top left hand corner and then it will rerun this code again so it makes it look like it's literally just one one line of code and obviously if you wanted to add more doors you would put them here so you'd put door 2 and then obviously copy of this and put the uh, ID number of uh, whatever the computer is and it should do exactly the same it will just make another line for you so we'll save that and reboot and there you go door equals closed so I hope this has helped um, I know this is a bit of a quick tutorial uh, compared to my last one um, but there, there wasn't really much to explain as I explained it in depth on the last tutorial um, obviously to make, make a monitor is using 8 stone and 1 pane of glass in the middle um, now if, if there's anything you want me to explain or make more then please don't hesitate just to ask thanks for watching bye